Kimberly Jarvis and I am a junior and I'm majoring in graphic design and psychology. Hi, I'm Dora Fulmer and I'm class of 2023 and a WING student. Hi, my name is Alexandra Rosenzweig and I'm a junior part of the class of 2023. My majors are in business administration and economics with minors in marketing, finance, art history, and now Italian. My name is Angelina. I'm Kristen. I'm Hannah. And we are currently studying abroad in San Sepulcro. And we're here to answer some questions about what it's like to study abroad. Well, after my kids graduated, um, I just decided to make a change and go to college and study abroad was just another opportunity to do something different. It's a, it's a new experience, it's an opportunity that you don't always have um, and that you're very lucky to have going to Meredith to go abroad and have people support you, not only financially get some support but also academically. In San Sepulcro, we get a real immersive experience into the Italian culture and we make connections with people. You get to learn how to be independent and you get to learn a whole new culture and immerse yourself in a new way of life and take into perspective your own. It's my first time ever outside the U.S. And so being exposed to all these new experiences, but all these new as well challenges, it has allowed me to gain so many life skills. As for myself, a WING student, I was able to get a scholarship to come here. I would say, Absolutely. yeah, it is affordable. You can get a lot of scholarships and you can save up for it if you know you're planning in advance to study abroad. So it is very affordable especially if you talk to your uh, counselors and talk to uh, the financial department. They're definitely here to help you out and make this trip a reality. I found studying abroad to be very affordable for me because a lot of my scholarships and grants were able to transfer over, which would have been the same if I had been living on campus. Um, one would be Florence. Florence is amazing because it is full of history. It is a place that you can never stop exploring. It's always just so much more to discover. Maiori, which is a town in the Amalfi Coast and Venice. It's been really fun and we even got to go on a walking path in Maiori called the Path of Lemons and we got to climb up the mountains and see the whole oceanside and it was beautiful. For my last travel break I planned to go to Torino and in Torino there's uh, the Egyptian Museum and the Cinema Museum that I'm going to visit. So Malfi, uh, the views were amazing, it was very beautiful there. It was a little cold but nonetheless we had great food, uh, lots of cute little gift shops and just great. Uh, Great scenery overall. Lots of classes during the week, at least for me. It's mainly spent in the morning, go get a cappuccino and a pastry. And then we have Italian first thing in the morning. And then following that, we either have another class or we get lunch. Lunch is incredible. We get catered by restaurants. And then after lunch, it's again either more classes or doing some homework. Sometimes at night, we like to go out and just relax and have fun together. Communication with my friends and family. A plan that I put into development before I even got here was making sure there were clear rules for communication, making sure everyone downloaded WhatsApp ahead of time instead of when I got here, making sure they understood to call my Italian member, but also setting clear guidelines and in a way restrictions on when they could call me, when they couldn't to make sure I had a good study abroad balance and connecting with home balance. I have to say that I was a little nervous about being with so many traditional students and, you know, I guess in a way fitting in. They've really made it easy for me to adjust and they've been very accepting of me being with them. Uh, the town of San Sepulcro is very friendly. To me, it reminds me of rural North Carolina. They're very laid back and helpful and nice. It is a great learning experience of learning the different foods and their language and trying to communicate in ways that you haven't done before. Uh, every time we go out and order food, I provide a new challenge because there's always an, uh, something new to learn. 
it's um, definitely regulated, so you have to show a green pass, which is our CDC card, but here everybody has a green pass on their phone, um, to get into like restaurants and sit in the back. Um, you definitely have to wear a mask if you go inside just to order and you're not sitting down to eat. Um, but everything is open and uh, a lot of things are going on as normal. In San Sepulcro, you feel very safe. We've still lived a full experience here and I'm hoping that it'll continue to be that way.